Okay, um, after we look at the uncoupled uh, two spin i is equal to one half system, now we're going to look at a coupled system, specifically with J coupling. And so this is a continuation from that screencast. So for two spins, and if we have the uncoupled system, we have omega one, it can have a frequency, and the iz1 operator, or the operator for that spin, also can have a different frequency, omega zero uh, for the second spin, and the iz operator for that spin. Sorry, this two and z look a lot alike. And this is the Hamiltonian for the uncoupled spin system, just like the individual uh, spins look like that. Coupling adds a scalar term, we'll call it J12, and then a product of operators. So first introduction to that. And so where this is scalar in nature. So we've seen how the first two terms here, one and two, operate on our wave function. And we've seen our wave functions, which they start out as alpha one, alpha two, they go to mixed terms, alpha one, beta, two, etc. all four terms. We'll again look at the second term and just look at the last term here because we know how the first two interact. So if we take the J12, IZ, two IZ, Term. We're operating that product of operators onto the wave function beta 2. So we, we already said this is scalar. Now this is an important point, which is the I1, the operator only operates on. So Typically, the order of operation is important, and it is here as well, but keep in mind that the I2Z operator only operates on the two wave function, and same here. So they operate individually. We've seen what those look like previously, so this just gives a half H bar. We're gonna um, absorb that at the moment. And on beta, it gives minus a half and the wave function back. So overall, this gives minus one quarter J12 and then the wave function. So here we have our new term um, that's being applied. So now we can write out just like before, and we're gonna do this abbreviated here. One, our quantum numbers, our spin state, the eigenfunctions, and the eigenvalues. And these, because we're doing the Hamiltonian or energies, so just like we did for the uncoupled spin system, and it's the same four terms, we'll write out the first couple. And I think you'll see the trend. Again, you can write the eigenfunction in numerous different ways. Since there's not a spatial component to the wave function, um, you know, these are fairly abstract in nature. Um, but the energies they produce are not and it goes as the same as the last uncoupled system where you have um, omega zero one and omega zero two or the two frequent half of both of the two frequencies. And now in a sense, you just add a term and it's just gonna be a quarter J one two. For both mixed terms, meaning where one's uh, plus a half and one's minus a half in either direction. And so for this one's minus a half, that's plus a half, which is just flipping these. Um, they have the same term as the uncoupled system. Sorry, that 
it should be minus half zero two. And now they're going to come as the minus one quarter. And you can easily see this above that um, that in this case you'll get both terms where um, where it comes as the opposite of the sign. And then this one still will have minus here. And then finally the last one will be you know, a plus a quarter. J12. Sorry, I'm getting near the bottom here. And this will be minus on both of these. And that's for the beta beta. Oop, I'm getting tell. I'm running out of room here. Okay, so now we've completed the table for uh, J coupled two spin I is equal to one half system. Thanks. <laughs>